Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. And I just want to talk through a feature uh, for a moment that has caused some confusion in our inbox. Uh, it's a new feature in Chrome. Well, it's new to Chrome Stable, I should say, and it's called Chrome's Touch to Search. So Chrome Touch to Search came in the, in the most recent Chrome update. It's been in Chrome beta for months. I actually can't remember how long, but it's been there for a while. We've been using it in the beta channel for a while. It is now again in stable. And so and some of you are just now seeing this for the first time. And I believe that's why it's throwing you a little bit. And what I mean by that is a lot of you are confusing this with Google Now on tap, which Google just introduced at IO. So Google Now on tap is a, is a feature add on for Google Now that will be in Android M. And, and it basically allows you to pull up Google Now uh, wherever you are and it should read essentially whatever you're doing on the screen and try to pull up relevant information. Uh, you can ask it things and things like that as well. Uh, this is different in that it's just a feature in Chrome. And so basically what it allows you to do is tap on words or phrases in Chrome and then do Google searches for those within Chrome. So again, Google Chrome touch to search is what I'm about to show you, which is what you're all now discovering if you haven't been using the beta. Google Now on tap is a feature coming down the road sometime and may only be an Android M feature for a while. Okay, so, so we're clear there. So anyways, this is Chrome's touch to search and it's very cool. I'm not trying to discount it. It's very cool and I just wanna make sure you guys know exactly what we're talking about here. So in the new Chrome, if you're on a web page and you're scrolling around and you find something that maybe you want some more information on, like say Android TV, now all you have to do is just tap on that and Chrome will then sort of intelligently figure out what you were maybe talking about and then it'll allow you to do a search. So you can see I tapped on Android, there's Android and it actually swapped over to Android TV because it thought that might be even more relevant and there's a little Google search thing and I can actually swipe that up and it goes into a Google search for Android TV. And if I keep swiping, you can see it continues to go and it gives you in the news information, um, Android TV things that you might find out and about, apps that you may want to install, uh, even Twitter hashtags for Android TV. So you can see it's pulling up essentially a Google search within Google Chrome for what I've just selected. Uh, you can do more advanced things too, like I could long press and then drag out here and select multiple words or a phrase. And you can see there now I have selected Android TV set top box shield and it pulls that up too and does a search for that. It's a very, very cool feature. Again, called touch to search. Um, let's just jump over here into a different web page. So here's ESPN once it loads here. So Serena Williams won the French Open this morning. And so if I tap on the wrong thing, which I clearly just did there, um, let's go ahead and tap on Grand Slam. So it actually selected Grand Slam finale just by reading what's going on there. And I tap on that and I can sort of scroll into this and uh, you'll just see it's pulling up all this information related to Grand Slam finale. Uh, and so I actually don't want Grand Slam finale. I just want Grand Slam. And so I can select that. And uh, if we scroll in here, then you'll see it pulls up news, obviously relevant to her winning. Here's all a bunch of whole, a bunch of tweets about uh, Serena Williams winning that. And so you guys sort of get the idea there. You can search for anything within Chrome uh, just by touching on select words. Again, it's, it's a super useful feature. Uh, if you want to find the setting for it, and it should come turned on by default, but if it's not, or maybe if you don't want to use it, you would go into menu settings and scroll down to privacy. And then in there, you will see a touch to search option. And then you can toggle that thing on or off. So yeah, that's Chrome's touch to search. And uh, again, it's been in the beta for a number of months, it just now reached the stable version and it's rolling out. And so a number of you are seeing it for the first time and sort of confusing it with Google Now on tap. And I get why you're doing that because it's bringing up sort of relevant information and you're sort of blown away by how cool it is. I totally get that. They're just they're just separate features. And so uh, this is available basically to anyone. And so uh, give it a spin and you will probably love it. Uh, we've been using it again for quite some time and it's a really, really handy little feature. So uh, anyways, just a quick explanation of Chrome's touch to search. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We're Droid Life. Peace.